Hello viewers, I am Dr. Mala Das Sharma, retired professor of St. Paul's 10th degree and PG college for women, Hyderabad. Welcome to my channel, Kim Philly. So let's start 28th episode of Teaching Chemistry Through Riddle. Do watch the video till the end so that you can enjoy the complete riddle. So let's start riddle number 28. I am a group present in some organic compounds. I am consisting of only two elements with similar electronegativity, but the groups attached with me at both the sides are having strong electron attracting power. My name itself tells my characteristics. The compounds containing me can easily form an intermediate which attracts electrophile. Hence, they have great synthesis importance. So, this is riddle number 28. Now, let's see the question. The question is, who am I? Now, let's solve the riddle and get the answer. The clues given in the riddles are, first one, I am consisting of only two elements with close electronegativity. Second one, I have electron attracting groups at both the sides. From this clue, we can guess that answer is active methylene group. So, it may be active methylene group. Now, confirmation. Compounds containing me can easily form an intermediate which attracts electrophile. Hence, they have great synthesis importance. Now, let's see one such compound. So, this compound is Beta keto ester. This is ethyl acetoacetate. It contains this active methylene group, which is attached at both the sides with electron withdrawing groups. Therefore, from this compound, the carbon ion is easily generated from this active methylene group, and thereby this compound has great synthesis importance. Ethyl acetoacetate contains active methylene group which can easily form carbonyl. Carbonyls are highly reactive and attracts electrophile. Hence, ethyl acetoacetate has great synthesis importance. Now, let's see some examples of synthesis from ethyl acetoacetate. Now here, this is the active methylene group. Now this strong base sodium ethoxide can take this hydrogen from this active methylene group that is the proton and form the carbon ion. And this carbon ion is highly reactive which reacts with the alkyl halide and can form the monoalkyl acetoacetic ester. Still one more hydrogen atom is there. So, once again, the base can abstract this hydrogen and this carbon ion is formed, which once again can react with this alkyl halide and can form the dialkyl acetoacetic ester. This question given in the riddle, who am I? The answer will be active methylene group. Now, the important questions related to carbon ion. Now, question number one. What is active methylene group? Methylene group flanked on both sides by electron withdrawing groups. For example, aldehyde, carbonyl ketone, carboxylic acid, ester, cyanide, halogen, etc. is highly reactive and thus commonly known as active methylene group. Now, see this compound. This is acetyl acetone, which is a beta ketone. It contains active methylene group. Then this is ethyl acetoacetate, which is a beta keto ester. This also contains active methylene group. Similarly, dimethyl malonate, it is also a beta keto ester, contains active methylene group. And all these compounds, because of the presence of active methylene group, easily they can generate carbon ion and therefore they are very reactive. Now, the two hydrogen atoms of such methylene group can be easily replaced by sodium when treated with sodium ethoxide and the corresponding carbon ion is formed. Now, second question. What is carbon ion? Carbon ion is reaction intermediate where carbon atom bears negative charge and possesses 8 electron in its valence shell. So, carbon ion carbon 
carbon atom it is attached with three other atoms or groups and the other orbital either pr orbital or vacant orbital contains this pr of electron so all together six bonded electron and a pr of electron that means all together eight electrons in the valence shell the carbon atoms are highly reactive they are charged intermediate so highly reactive Paramagnetic due to complete electron pairing, all the electrons are paired up in the valence shell, so diamagnetic acts as a nucleophile. They have negative charge, so they act as a nucleophile. Acts as Lewis base. This lone pair of electron can be donated to proton, so they act as Lewis base. Now third question: How carbon ion is generated? Now, carbon dioxide is generated by heterolysis or heterolytic fission. See, this is alkyl. This molecule is acetylene molecule, sodium acetylides. Now, this alkyl carbon atom or this triple bonded carbon atom is sp hybridized, where s character is more. Therefore, this is more electronegative, and as it is more electronegative, it can easily this hydrogen atom attached to this sp hybridized carbon atoms are acidic that can be replaced by metal, and so by heterolytic fission of such bond, you can prepare. This carbon atom and other positive ion. Now, second method is abstraction of proton by base. Now, here this proton or this hydrogen is attached with this carbon atom, and this carbon atom is attached with electron withdrawing group. So, these hydrogen atoms are partially positive. So, base can easily take this hydrogen and form the carbon atom. Now, carbon atom formation from active methylene group. So active methylene group already we have seen flanked on both sides by electron withdrawing group due to minus i effect of two electronegative groups the electron density at methylene carbon becomes very less with the result its hydrogen becomes acidic or active this active hydrogen atom is easily abstracted by base resulting the formation of carbon ion negatively charged intermediate carbon ion has strong affinity for positively charged species already we have observed So this from this uh, active methylene group easily with the help of base, base can easily take the proton from active methylene group and can form the carbon ion. A fourth question: What is the shape of the carbon ion? Now, in the carbon ion carbon atom, if it is not stabilized by resonance, then it is sp3 hybridized and This sp3 hybridization means there are three sp3 hybrid orbitals. With these three sp3 hybrid orbitals, sorry, there are four sp3 hybrid orbitals. Among the four sp3 hybrid orbitals, with the three hybrid orbitals, it forms the bond with the other atoms or groups, and the fourth sp3 hybrid orbital contains the pair of electrons. So the structure is pyramidal like ammonia, provided this carbon ion is not stabilized by resonance. If the carbon ion not participating in resonance. The negatively charged electrons are largely concentrated around one carbon atom. As a result, the localized carbon ion atoms assume trigonal pyramidal bent and linear geometries. For example, the localized carbon ion methyl, this one, assumes a geometry of a pyramid with a carbon atom at the apex. The structure is similar to ammonia molecular structure. Now, shape of the resonance stabilized carbon ion. If the carbon ion is resonance stabilized, then we know that hybrid orbital cannot form the or cannot take part in resonance. In that case, carbon ionic carbon atom is sp2 hybridized, and the remaining p orbital of carbon contains the pair of electrons. So, the carbon atom of resonance stabilized carbon ion is sp2 hybridized. In that case, the carbon ionic lone pair will occupy a p orbital. A p orbital has a more suitable shape and orientation to overlap with the neighboring pi system, resulting in more effective charge delocalization. Thus, the molecular structure is rather a planar, not a pyramidal configuration. So, as it is sp2 hybridized, the structure will be 
planner and p orbiter takes part in resonance or delocalization with the other pi electron or pi pi electron clouds of the molecule now see example alloy like carbon atom here this carbon atom uh, it is stabilized by resonance because this double bond and this negative charge separated by single bond that means conjugation is present similarly this is benzyl carbon atom this is also stabilized by resonance negative charge and double bond separated by single bond so it is stabilized by resonance now question number 5 how carbon atom gets stabilized number 1 inductive effect greater the psi effect lesser will be the stability let's see now this is methyl carbon atom here this carbon atom does not contain any other alkyl group so plus i effect of the alkyl groups is alkyl groups is absent okay and this is most stable now coming to this primary carbon atom this is ethyl carbon atom here this carbon atom carbon atom contains are attached to it one methyl group so plus i effect is there so therefore negative charge is more con more concentrated on this carbon atom so this primary carbon atom is less stable than methyl carbon atom now coming to the secondary isopropyl carbon atom here plus i effect is exerted by two methyl groups therefore this negative charge is more concentrated on this carbon atom so it is less stable than primary now coming to the tertiary carbon atom this is tertiary butyl carbon atom here plus i effect is exerted by three methyl groups therefore negative charge is more concentrated or localized on this carbon atom so it is least stable we know that if the charge is localized on a particular atom that stability is less if it is delocalized by this resonance or something then it is more stable so plus i effect of more number of alkyl groups makes the negative charge on the carbon atom more localized therefore we know that methyl carbon atom is more stable than this primary carbon atom and primary carbon atom is more stable than secondary secondary carbon atom is more stable than tertiary now second point is resonance effect now already we have seen that allyl and benzyl carbon atoms are stabilized by resonance already we have observed that now look at here in this molecule this is benzyl carbon atom where carbon atom is stabilized by resonance that means negative charge is take part in resonance with the benzene ring and here delocalization is more that means it is spread it over or delocalized between more number of atoms so it is more stable than this allyl carbon atom which is also resonance stabilized and allyl carbon atom is more stable than vinyl carbon atom where resonance participation is not there and vinyl carbon atom is more stable more stable than phenyl carbon atom where also resonance participation is not possible the coming to this example this is the carbon atom from this triphenyl methane and this is most stable because this is most resonance stabilized resonance occurs with this three phenyl groups and so it is more stable than this carbon atom which is the carbon atom from this diphenyl methane and this carbon atom of this diphenyl methane is more stable than benzyl carbon atom because compared to these two here this resonance is less only one phenyl group is there now electron withdrawing groups in the benzene ring increases the stability and electron releasing group decreases the stability of the carbon atom now let's see now this is aranite to benzyl carbon atom benzyl carbon atom para nitro so nitro nitro group is present in the para position so this resonance participation of this negative charge is extended up to nitro group because nitro group is a strong electron withdrawal group so the here the delocalization is more that means negative charge is more spreaded over spreaded over to more number of atoms so this carbon atom is more stable now coming to this one this is para chloro benzyl carbon atom 
Here, chlorine atom, ex, uh, chlorine atom attracts the electron density from benzene ring by strong minus I effect. Therefore, here this electron attracting power of chlorine is less than nitro group, but it is attracting the electron density from benzene ring. So, this carbon ion negative charge is to some extent it is delocalized. So, therefore, it is more stable than other but less stable than paranitro benzyl carbonate. Now coming to this benzyl carbonate, it is less stable compared to these two because there is no electron attracting group in the benzene ring. Now coming to this paramethyl benzyl carbonate, here methyl group exact plus I effect that means it is giving electron through plus I effect. So this negative charge will be concentrated, comparatively concentrated, so it will be less stable compared to these three. Now, last one is paramethoxy benzyl carbonate. Here, methoxy groups is giving electron, that means releasing electron by uh, resonance effect. Therefore, this negative charge will be concentrated here and it is least stable. So, this is the stability order. That means paranitrobenzyl carbonate is more stable than parachlorobenzyl. Parachlorobenzyl is more stable than benzyl. Benzyl is more stable than para methyl benzyl and paramethyl benzyl is more stable than paramethoxy benzyl carbonyl. Now, we have seen that this uh, resonance stabilization of this uh, carbonyl of ethyl acetoacetate and diethyl malonate. So, in, from this ethyl acetoacetate, from this active methylene group, carbonyl is formed which takes part or stabilized by resonance. Similarly, from di Ethyl malonate also, this carbon ion is formed because this active methylene group is present and this carbon ion also can get stabilized by resonance. Now, this character of the hybrid orbital. Now, stability increases with increase in the S character. Look at here, this is alkyne molecule where carbon atom is sp hybridized that means triple bonded carbon atom is sp hybridized where s character is more so it is more electronegative so it has more electron as it is more electronegative so it has more attraction for electrons compared to this one this is alkene where sp2 hybridized carbon atom is there and then this is so this carbon ion is more stable than this one let's see here this compound A, SP hybridization of carbon atom means 50% S character, that is maximum. Now, compound B, it has SP2 hybridized carbon atom, that is 33% S character. So, electronegativity of this carbon atom is less. So, therefore, this carbon ion is less stable. Uh, this carbon ion D, here sp3 hybridized carbon atom where 25% S character is there. So, this carbon ion will be least stable because it has minimum S character. So, the stability order will be A greater than B, B greater than B. Now, carbon ion secure species, so highly reactive. And we know that reactivity is inversely proportional to stability. If the stability is more, reactivity will be less. Now see here, this is methyl carbon ion which is most stable. Uh, already we have observed. So it will be least reactive. Now this is primary carbon ion. Its stability is less than this methyl carbon ion. So it is more reactive than methyl carbon ion. This is secondary carbon ion whose stability is still less than primary carbon ion. So it will be more reactive than this secondary carbon ion. And this is tertiary carbon ion which is less stable. So it will be most reactive. So reactivity order will be tertiary greater than secondary, greater than primary, greater than methyl. Now coming to question number 6. Mention two name reactions where carbon ion is formed as intermediate. First one is Claisen condensation. It is a condensation reaction between two same or different ester molecules having at least one alpha hydrogen atom to form beta keto ester. So, look at here. This is ethyl acetate. It has this alpha hydrogen atom. So, in presence of base, easily carbon ion is formed. Now, let's see. Now, this carbon ion is formed. 
and now this carbon atom can contains with another molecule of ethyl acetate and finally it form this ethyl acetoacetate a beta keto ester and this is glycine condensation now next one is parkin reaction or parkin condensation reaction it is the condensation reaction between aromatic aldehyde and acid anhydride in presence of salt of the carboxylic acid to form alpha beta unsaturated aromatic acid let's see so here this is benzaldehyde and this is acetic anhydride in presence of sodium acetate this condensation reaction takes place whereby this cinnamic acid or alpha beta unsaturated as carboxylic acid is formed and this reaction also proceeds through carbanion formation so here from sodium acetate acetate ion is formed which acts as a base and takes this proton and generates this carbon ion now this carbon ion contains with benzaldehyde and finally form this alpha beta unsaturated aromatic carboxylic acid so this is the end of this reading number 28 thank you